While California Assembly member Eduardo Garcia has praised Governor Newsom's budget proposal earlier this week, State Senator Melissa Melendez is against the governor's spending priorities. I spoke with her today to find out why. Senator Melendez, first off, tell us why you are against the governor's budget proposal. Well, thank you for having me on. And I want to be very clear that I think there are certain functions that government should cover. But in this particular budget that the governor has revised, there is additionally 400 different ways he is trying to spend this money. And when you couple that with the fact that we have an incredible amount of debt that we need to pay down, I just think it's inappropriate and irresponsible. Particularly, you know, we owe school districts a lot of money. And while the governor suggests paying down some of that debt and giving some of them, you know, some of the money that we owe them back, it doesn't erase all of the debt. And I, I am confounded as to why that is, because as you know, at home, if you have three or four credit cards that are carrying a balance and you come into a windfall of cash, the first thing you're going to want to do is pay down your debt because it costs you money to hold debt. So I am very concerned with this, you know, 400 new ways the governor is, is wanting to spend this money. Now, talk to us a little bit about this surplus, because I spoke with Eduardo Garcia, another state assembly member, earlier this week, and the impression I got was that this surplus is really what is helping with all of these projects that the governor wants to pay for. But you're saying we shouldn't use the money for that. It should go for, for paying off debt. I think it should go to pay off debt, and I think it should be more focused. Rather than have 400 things that we spend money on, let's focus on the, the few critical things that really do need our attention right now. And two that I can think of off the top of my head would be EDD, because we all know the problems that EDD has experienced with getting people their money. And while the governor has allocated some money to them, the only the money is going just to you know hire some more people that's not enough their systems need to be updated so that they can be more efficient and processing and people aren't held up the second place i would look at is the dmv we need to get the dmv into the new millennium as far as you know their it systems it's it's embarrassing, frankly, to be the state of California, 40 million people, and we have a system that's so old. And you know, updating those two systems is it's not sexy. You know, it's not like people are gonna be all excited about it, but it needs to be done because it benefits literally every single Californian. So if we have the money now, which is unusual, right, to have this much money, let's put it to good use. And because it's one and done, you know, we we update it and it should be good for many more years. But if we don't do it now, we don't know in two years or three years or four years, you know, will we have that kind of cash? I just feel like it, we keep putting it off and the time is now. And again, it's not the most exciting thing, but it most certainly needs to be done. One of the other things that has been generating a lot of attention lately is the Salton Sea, which, as you know, is a major problem out here in the Coachella Valley. Do you think money should go towards that? I do. I mean, we've been asking for money for the Salton Sea for some time, and we're asking for federal help as well. That problem is another one. It's not going away, and it's only going to get worse, and it is unfair to the people who live in and around there. And frankly, even people that don't live near Salton Sea at times during the year, as we've seen, suffer the effects from what happens there when the wind starts blowing and people wonder what in the world is going on what is that odor in the air well guess what and it's and it's toxic and so yes i do think that we should have a significant amount of money going to restoration and key and you know stemming the tide of what's taking place there um it, i get it it's going to cost a lot, a lot of money to fix it but it's another problem that's not going away and it's a health issue right now all right, Senator Melendez, we appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us. You bet.